Good morning, students. Welcome in next lecture of Math of Two Four Two Operation Research. Presently, we are studying the finite capacity single server queuing model. So, in previous class, I have derived the expected waiting time when rho is equal rho is not equal to one. We know that W is what it is the L upon. Lambda bar, and for the finite capacity, lambda bar is lambda into one minus pm. So if we have, if lambda is no, uh, lambda is equal to mu, or rho is equal to one, at that time, L we know it is equal to m by two lambda one minus, and pm is one upon m plus One. So this will give you m by two upon lambda and m upon m plus one. So this will give you m plus one upon two lambda. So this is the expression for expected waiting time in the system when lambda is equal to mu. Audio video is okay? Yes, sir. Now. If you have to compute the W Q, so W Q is what? It is the L Q upon lambda bar. So already we have computed the L Q in terms of the L. So it is equal to L minus rho one minus P M upon Lambda bar, lambda bar is what lambda into one minus pm. So using this approach, right? Using this expression, we can compute the value of the WQ. So here we have completed the MM one FCFS M infinity queuing model. We have derived the steady state probabilities and Corresponding system performance or system indices L, L Q, W, W Q. Now, let us have some problem on these uh, these models. So, till now we have covered the three models, right? First one is M, M, infinity, F C F S, infinity, infinity. That is the self-service model. Then M, M, one. FCFS, infinity infinity, single server queuing model. Then last M M one, FCFS, M infinity, finite capacity single server queuing model. So now let us have some question. This is the seventh question from your book. A shipping company has. Single unloading berth with ships arriving in a Poisson process at an average rate of three per day. So here the arrival of the ships follow the Poisson process with average rate three per day. So here the lambda is given to you as a three. The unloading time distribution, that is the service time of ship with an unloading. Crew is exponential with mean, with mean one upon two n. So here, the service time, mean service time, is given to you one upon mu n is given to you as a one upon two n. So this will give you mu n is equal to two n. Two n. The company has large labor supplies. There is no limitation of labor. Right, whatever the requirement, that much you can use. Now, uh, here the company has large labor supply without regular hour, and to avoid the long waiting line, the company has a policy of using as many unloading crews as there are the ship in the system. Means whatever the number of the ship, that much crew the company can use. Means as the ship arrive, 
the unloading will start so that is uh, which model it is which model mm infinity right mm infinity means self service model or you can say mmn mmn means whatever the number of server uh, ship that much uh, number of the unloading crew so find the average number of unloading crews at any time so you can say this is the self service model this is a self service model now you have to find the average number of unloading crews at any time so that you have to determine the l find the probability that more than four crews will be ne needed so more than four that that is p n greater than four that you have to compute so in this case it is given to you here we have the birth and death model with lambda n is equal to lambda it is given to you as a three for n is equal to 0 1 2 n and mu n is equal to mu n is equal to 1 upon 2 n just wait a bit some mistake It is the 2n. It is 2n. With mean, mean is given to you. With mean time, that is the 1 upon 2n. So, uh, mu n will come the 2n. For n is equal to 1, 2. So, we know that for the self-service model, pn is equal to what? pn is equal to rho to power n upon factorial n into p naught, Where p naught is equal to e to power minus rho. That we have already derived. So, it will become pn is what pn is rho uh, rho to power n upon factorial n into p naught so rho is what where rho is what rho is the lambda upon mu so in this case because the mu n depend over the n so we can say that mu is equal to 2 right mu is equal to 2 because uh, uh, it is given to you uh, the number the service facility will increase with the number of sip number of sip so here the mu is equal to 2 so pn will become pn will become 3 by 2 to power n upon factorial n into p naught where p naught is e to power minus rho so average number of unloading crew at any time that is the average number of the un, uh, if we are talking that average number of unloading crew it is equal to average number of the sip at any time. That is, we want the L. And L is, L is equal to what for this model? It is equal to rho. So it will become the 3 by 2. And it is equal to 1.5. Probability that more than 4 crew member uh, crews will be needed. That is probability that more than 4 sips are there. It means we are talking, uh, we are talking for the probability that n greater than right n greater than 4 n greater than 4 so that can be written as 1 minus p naught minus p1 minus p2 minus p3 minus p4 that can be written as 1 minus p naught that is the e to power minus rho right if you take common so 1 plus here we have the rho plus rho square upon factorial 2 plus rho cube upon factorial 3 plus rho to power 4 upon factorial 4. So that will give you p naught is what? Rho into p naught. P2 is what? Rho square upon factorial 2 into p naught. P3 is rho cube upon factorial 3 into p naught. And p4 is equal to rho 4 upon uh, rho 4 upon factorial 4 into p naught. p naught we have taken common. So we can see, uh, we can see uh, its required probability or this can be written as this can be written as 1 minus 1 minus probability n less than equal to 4 that is the 1 minus f of 4 and we know that it follow the Poisson distribution it follow the Poisson distribution from here we know that 
the state of the system follow the poisa distribution so from the standard table of the poisa we can see its value directly so the value will come 0.019 if you have the table of the poisa then directly you will see from the table because we know that state of the system of self service model follow the poisa distribution with parameter rho so from the standard table you can write the value directly anything you want to re explain so it is a similar type of the question so question number uh, question number 9 is also of self service model so you please do yourself self service model right just for the recording i am giving the solution here so let uh, later on you can read and understand the solution now from the past survey of television regulatory authority of india it has found that people tuning on their television sets on sunday prime time can be described rather well by the poisson distribution means tuning of a television tuning of television follow the poisson process with mean of with mean of well arc viewers per hour it is given to you as a rate means this much cost, uh, this much viewers are tuning the tv in the on the sunday prime time following the poisson process there are five major television station in the area star plus doordarshan g network alpha tv and today network and it is believed that a given person chosen among these essentially at random so people uh, the viewers are compelled to see among these five channels only it is believed uh, chosen among these essentially at random survey have also shown that average person tunes in for 90 minutes so average tuning time average tuning time is given to you as a 90 minutes that viewing times are approximately exponentially distributed so it is given to you the service time it is given to you the service time follow the exponential distribution with mu is equal to 1 upon 90 minute 1 upon 90 minute means right 1 upon 9 uh, with uh, with 1 upon 90 minutes because one upon mu is given to you it is given to you one upon mu as a 90 minute one upon mu as a 90 minute so mu will become one upon 90 average service time is given to you average tuning time is given to you that is the one upon mu one upon mu is given to you as a 90 minute so mu will become one upon 90 so what is the candle notation of the model find the expected number of viewers on sunday evening prime time uh, prime time of television station star plus so first of all which queuing model it is it is the mmn correct right it is the mmn fcfs because number of viewers there is no limitation on the capacity no limitation on the population so it is the infinity infinity so it is the self service model self service model and here lambda is given to you as a 1 lakh per hour so this 1 lakh is given for the for five station five station right five stations so lambda for 
star plus lambda for star plus will become right if uh, nothing is given to you then we can assume it is homogeneously distributed so it will be the 20000 it will be the 20000 per hour so here lambda is given to you the lambda for star plus will be the 20000 per hour because the in the poisson distribution you have seen from the additive property of the poisson distribution that the sum follow the poisson distribution with parameter mu1 plus mu2 plus mu1 so using that concept using the additive property of the poisson distribution we can even divide also so lambda star plus will become the 20000 and mu is given to you as a uh, mu is given to you as a 1 upon 90 right 1 upon 90 that is the so uh, you have to compute the expected number of viewers right you have to compute the expected number of means not uh, hours actually it is given to you 90 minutes so how many viewers number of viewers we have to write clear mu mu denote uh, roy roy anirvan raja we have to mu is what mu we have to not it is the two by three hours we have to write it uh, means number of viewers it is the number of viewers number of viewers in hour in hour that we have to write right so, so correct two by three viewers per hour right and uh, so it will be the two by three per viewer per hour so we can write it as a 2 by 3 viewers per hour so in that case we generally do not write the uh, unit or we write the per hour either you write the per hour 2 by 3 per hour so that is the clear that it is the viewers per hour so l is what l is the rho for the self service model and it is equal to lambda upon mu and lambda is given to you as a 20000 and mu is given to you as a 2 by 3. So it is the 30,000. So on an average, on an average, 30,000 viewers are there for seeing the for seeing the star plus on the Sunday prime time. So in this way, we can find the expected number of viewers. Now, at a parking lot, there are large number of parking space. There is no limitation of the parking space. Car arrive at a lot in a Poisson process. So, car is uh, means arrival of the car follow the Poisson process with mean with mean rate of twenty five cars per hour. So, it is given to you as a lambda. Lambda is given to you as a 25 cars per hour the parking time of a car is exponentially distributed means it is the service time service time exponentially distributed with mean 12 minute so service time is given to you as a exponential distributed with 1 upon mu as a 12 minute 1 upon mu as a 12 minute so this implies that mu is equal to 5 cars 5 cars per hour five cars per hour it is given to you the mu is equal to five cars per hour find the mean number of parked car at the lot at any instant so how many uh, how many car are there on an average how many cars get the parking facility per hour and third question each car receiving the parking facility has to pay rupee 1 irrespective of its parking time plus rupee 1 per hour for the 
parking time what is the per hour expected revenue of parking lot so here customer is nothing in this case customer is the right customer is here customer is the car so for this question lambda is given to you 25 cars per hour and mu is given to you as a 5 cars per hour and here cars uh, ca, ca, arrival of the car follow the paisa process m service time or parking time follow the exponential distribution m car itself is the server right because uh, uh, just a car arrive and it park so car itself is the server so we can say it is the n right it is the n and it follow the fcfs there is no limitation of the parking space so finite capacity is infinity and number of car we assume that population size is also infinity so this question also belongs to self service model now so here it is written that every car is a server itself therefore infinite server so here prospective customer or prospective number of car is also infinity so that's why it follow the right it follow the self service model mm infinity fcfs infinity infinity so now in the question find the mean number of parked car right find the mean number of the parked car that is the expected number of the customer in the system expected number of cars in the system so it is the l and l we know that for the self service model it is equal to rho so l will become in this case l will be the lambda upon mu that is the 25 upon 5 that is the 5 cars so on an average there are 5 cars there on an average how many cars get the parking facility right how many cars will get the parking facility what they are asking anyone can judge how many cars how many cars get the parking facility is there ls, a, a? LS sir like uh, that l minus lq no no l not l minus lq they are asking how many cars are getting the service facility that is the service facility number of cars not w w means waiting time not w w is the waiting time how many cars number number b not number b means here the v r how many car is joining how many cars are joining there right how many cars are joining whether that car get the service for complete hour for 1 minute for 1 second for 10 minutes for whatever the number of time but effectively how many cars are there so that is the effective arrival rate effective arrival rate and for the for the for the self service model lambda var we know that it is equal to lambda so when it is the lambda so it is equal to 25 it is equal to 25 so that means uh, how many cars get the parking facility that is the effective service effective service and for the self service model for the self service model mu var is equal to lambda var mu var is equal to lambda var so lambda var is equal to lambda and it is equal to 25 so on an average 25 cars get service or get parking facility per hour 
देर आफ्टर ईच कार रिसीविंग द पार्किंग फैसिलिटी हैज टू पे रूपी वन इफ इफ द कार इज टेकिंग द फैसिलिटी देन ही कार हैज टू पे रूपी वन प्लस रूपी वन पर आवर फॉर द पार्किंग टाइम सो वट इज द पर आवर एक्सपेक्टेड रेवेन्यू ऑफ द पार्किंग लॉट सो सो एक्सपेक्टेड रेवेन्यू वी हैव टू कंप्यूट द फॉर्मूला फॉर द एक्सपेक्टेड रेवेन्यू पर आवर एक्सपेक्टेड रेवेन्यू पर आवर so from where you are getting the 1 rupee from the car from the cars which are entering in the system means lambda bar every entered car will give you a money 1 rupee plus 1 rupee per hour 1 rupee per hour right if car is waiting for 1 hour if car is waiting for 1 hour if car is there in park lot in parking lot for 1 hour so what is the expected number of cars in that hour that is the l so it will become 1 into 25 plus 1 into 1 into 5 1 into 5 so on an average 30 rupees per hour you are getting the revenue right so so here we have the 30 rupees is there any doubt any one anyone want to ask anything let us have this question presently i am doing the question number 24 but question number 31 and 33 are also of same nature so you practice for the question number 31 and 33 24th question i am doing here in a office letters come for typing in poisa process so arrival of the letters arrival of the letter follow the poisa process with average rate 2 per hour so uh, arrival rate for the letter for typing is the 2 per hour so here it is given to you lambda is equal to 2 per hour if desired appointment desired to appointment appoint a typist if you want to uh, appoint a typist there are there are three applicants a b c for the post service time to type a letter for these three uh, these uh, these are exponential with mean 12 minute 15 minute and and 20 minutes so what uh, what is given to you here it is the 1 upon mu a the mean service time for the typist a this is the 1 upon mu b that is the mean service time for the typist b and this is the 1 upon mu c the mean service time for the typist c they demand salaries of rupees 844 per hour respectively for the delay letter for the delay letter there is a loss of rupees 3 per hour per letter assume that the typing time is also included in the delay time means the service time also service time also include the delay time of the uh, means typing time is also we have to count in the delay time which of the type is should appointed justify so whom you will you want you prefer to appoint those who take the minimum wages right so here we have the three typist right typist a 
typist B and typist C. For the typist A, lambda is given to you as a 2, lambda is given to you as a 2, lambda is given to you as a 2. And one uh, mu will become 5, right? Because uh, 12 minutes is the one uh, service time. So mu A is equal to 5 letter, 5 letters per hour. Mu B will be the mu B, it is the 15, so it will become the 4. So 4, right, per hour, 4 letters per hour. And mu C will be the, it is the 20, so 3 letters per hour. Their salary, salary of A is 8 rupees per hour. Salary of B is 4 rupees per hour. And salary of C is also 4 rupees per hour. The salary is given to you. So, now we have to compute the expected cost. We have to compute the expected cost. Expected cost. So, first of all, if you talk about this type A, which model it is? Single typist. So, we have the MM1 FCFS infinity infinity model. So, for the typist A, it is the MM1 FCFS infinity infinity. Similarly, for the typist B, similarly for the typist C. So, for uh, and we know that what is the expected cost? What is the expected cost? Expected cost will be salary salary plus expected delay cost expected delay cost so per hour per hour we have to compute if the per hour we have to compute salary per hour and expected delay cost per hour so sell is uh, if you want to compute the expected total cost for the typist A. So it will become salary per hour. It is given to you 8 plus expected delay cost. So expected delay cost is given to you 3 per hour per letter. So it will become the 3 L. Miss L is the expected number of letters expected number of letters in the system with in typing in queue right both we have to count in typing in queue so it will become the 8 plus 3l similarly tcb will be the 4 plus 3l and tcc will be the 4 plus 3l 4 plus 3l Right, so now you have to check who will take the minimum wage. So, what is the L? L for the L for the MM1 model will be the lambda upon mu minus lambda. I have asked you to write all the formula on one page so that whenever you have to use, you can directly refer. So, L is equal to what? L is equal to lambda upon mu minus lambda. So, we can compute the LA, LB, LC. So, LA is the 2 upon 5 minus 2. 2 upon 5 minus 2. It is the 2 upon 4 minus 2. And this is the 2 upon 3 minus 2. So that is the 2 upon 3, that is the 1, and here we have the 2. So in this case, it will become 8 plus 3 into 2 by 3, total 10 rupees, 4 plus 3 into 1, total 7 rupees, 
and it is the 4 plus 3 into L is equal to 2. So here we have the 10 rupees. Right, so total uh, total will be the so whom you will prefer to appoint the typist B must be appointed. Because he, here we have the hmm. if anyone has a book, please check whether this entry is the six or four. I think it is in book it is six. Here it is wrong. Right, whatever the entry that you you can check in from the book. So it uh, presently I have not the book. So if anyone has the book, please check whether this entry is six or four in question number twenty four. Just accordingly you change here. So here we have noted lambda lambda we have for the all the typists are the lambda is equal to two for mu is equal to five four three. So rho will come 2 by 5, 1 by 2, and 2 by 3. So L will come with the L will be the rho upon 1 minus rho. That is the 2 by 5, 1 by 2, 2 by 3. So L will come. Pardon? 6, 6, sir, for B. It is 6, no? Uh, that's why. Uh, in question, whatever that in typing we have wrongly noted. So it is the 6. So here the uh, cost will come the nine, just that that we have to include. So it is the three L plus salary that I have in, that I have explained. So instead of the four, it is the six, right? So it is six, so it will become the nine. In that case also, this is the minimum cost. So minimum expected cost. So we prefer to appoint the typist B. So in this way, we decide we optimize the cost also. Let us have this question. Question number 30. We are designing a single server queuing system with unlimited waiting space. That is the m is equal to infinity. Single server. It is the single server. So it is the mm1 in mm1 fcfs infinity infinity model. The service rate mu is decision variable. The service rate mu is the decision variable that must be specified in the design. The operating cost per unit time having the having server's rate is CS mu. The operating cost operating cost will be the CS mu. So as mu increase, this cost will increase. Even while server is idle, CS is constant. The other type of the cost incurred by the system is proportional to number of customer in the system. That is the CWN. While N, the number of customers, uh, while N customers are in the system, CW is constant. There is trade off between two costs. So there is a trade-off between the two costs. If you provide the if you provide the service with faster rate, then CS mu will increase. Then this CS mu will increase. And this CWN, because when you provide the service with a faster rate, number of customer in the system will decrease. As the number of customer in the system will decrease, this CWN will be decreasing. So th there is the trade-off between the two costs. I am saying that when we provide the service with a faster rate, then the CS mu, CS mu will increase. But 
the number of customer will decrease so cw will also decrease cw uh, cwn will also decrease so what we have to determine we have to determine the optimal value we have to determine the optimal value of the mu what will be the mu star so that the total cost must be minimum so here the faster server cost more but reduces the waiting cost the arrival rate lambda lambda is not in our control right lambda is not in our control assume that arrivals are in poisson process and service time is in exponential so it is the first m it is the second m now give an expression for the expected total cost per unit time as the function of mu lambda and uh, cost per uh, cost per uh, cost parameter c s and c w so here first of all it is uh, from the information it is given to you arrival follow the poisson process service uh, service time follow the exponential distribution single server if nothing is given we assume that it follow the fcfs it is given to you waiting space is infinite population is not given to you so we assume it is the infinite so it is the single server model so for, and now we have to compute the total cost so what is the total cost total cost of the service right means here we have the service cost service cost plus waiting cost service cost plus waiting cost and service cost is what cs mu waiting cost is what cw n cw n if you have to compute the expected cost expected total cost per unit time so we have to take the expectation of this cs mu plus cw n so it is it is a constant so it will re remain the cs mu plus cw e of n e of n right e of n and expected number of customer in the system that we can write as a cs mu plus cw l and for the single server model for the single server model cs mu it is the cw lambda upon mu minus lambda so now this etc etc is nothing it is the function of decision variable mu decision variable mu so from here we have to determine what is the mu star what is the mu star so you know that from the calculus if you compute the e of etc e of e etc with respect to mu and if you equate it equal to 0 that will give you the stationary value so it is the cs right cs plus cw and here we have the lambda and mu minus lambda whole square with negative sign with this negative sign and for the stationary point this must be equal to 0 so when this is equal to 0 so here we have the cs upon cw is equal to lambda upon mu minus lambda whole square so it will be the mu minus lambda whole square is equal to lambda cw upon cs or mu minus lambda is equal to root of lambda cw upon cs and mu is equal to lambda plus root of lambda cw upon cs so that is our right that is our mu star that is our mu star and when uh, for the minimum cost we compute the d2 tc upon d mu2 so it will become it will be the 2 lambda cw upon mu minus lambda 
cube since since mu is always greater than lambda that is our assumption so mu minus lambda q will be the positive and this is the positive this is positive this is positive this is positive so here you can see that whatever the value of the mu this quantity is always positive so at mu star at mu star expected total cost is minimum right expected total cost is minimum and mu star is equal to lambda plus lambda into cw upon cs so here we have the this expression we have computed find the formula of the mu star that we have computed the optimum service rate if lambda is equal to 10 cs is equal to 20 cw is equal to 200 if the lambda is equal to 10 cw is equal to 200 and cs is equal to 20 so find the optimal value of mu star so so that is the 20 so mu star will come for the given values the mu star the decision variable will come as a 20 20 customer per hour what cost per unit time does it give so what will be the total cost if the mu is equal to 20 so what will be the total cost so total cost here we have computed as cs so this can be written as cs is 20 it is also 20 plus cw is 200 lambda is equal to 10 upon 20 minus 10 20 minus 10 so 10 minus 10 and 10 cancel out so it is a 200 it is a 400 so total cost will be the 600 so here we have the in e tc star is equal to 600 then after if the service rate is so chosen that the service is idle exactly half of the time what is the mean waiting time of the customer in the queue right M mean waiting time in the of the customer in the queue that is the wq it is given to you if the service rate is so chosen that server is idle server is idle that is the p naught so p naught is given to you as a half p naught is given to you as a half and for the mm1 we know that what is the p naught it is the one minus row one minus row so it is equal to one minus lambda upon mu lambda is not a decision variable here mu is the decision variable so it it will give you it will give you the lambda upon mu is equal to half so mu it will implies that mu is equal to what it is the two lambda so because mu is the decision variable so here we are writing the mu is equal to two lambda so for the two lambda you have to compute what is the wait, uh, waiting time so waiting time will be the one upon in the queue in the queue uh, for the w it is the one upon mu minus lambda so for the q it is it is the lambda upon mu into mu minus lambda so just you put the value so it is the lambda upon 2 lambda 2 lambda minus lambda so lambda and lambda cancel out so here we have the lambda so 1 upon 2 lambda that is the 1 upon 2 lambda will be the our expected waiting time in the queue clear so according to question you have to proceed just uh, last question uh, it is a very small small question so just complete in an mm1 fcfs infinity infinity lambda is given to you as a 4 
mu is given to you as a 6 the maintenance of the service station cost is given to you as a rupees 100 per hour and the service charges from the customer is given to you as a rupees 30 what is the expected profit per hour uh, of the service station so who will who will give the service uh, who will give the revenue or money right those get the service so service charges are the customer uh, from the customer is rupees 30 so in this case the profit will be profit will be the revenue minus expenditure revenue minus expenditure expenditure per hour is given to you as a right um, as a uh, 100 and revenue you are getting from the served customer revenue you are getting from the served customer at the cost at the rate 30 so 30 into mu bar and for the steady state we know that mu bar is equal to lambda bar so it is the uh, mu bar is equal to lambda bar so it is the 30 lambda bar in, in minus 100 and lambda bar for the mm1 system it is the lambda so 30 lambda minus 100 and lambda is given to you as a 4 so 30 into 4 minus 100 so on an average you have the profit of 20 rupees per hour that we have to compute right so anything you want to ask Here we have the explanation of this part, question also. Clear? If you have any doubt, you can leave. what you want please ask actual doubt what you want here i am saying that the what is the profit profit is revenue minus expenditure expenditure per hour is given to you as a maintenance charge it is the 100 rupees per hour and you are getting the revenue right from the customer whom you have served and he is providing the rupees 30 30 so what is the um, effective departure rate because the customer who depart from the system will provide the money so effective departure rate that is the mu var and for the steady state solution of mm1 we know that mu var is equal to lambda var so 30 into lambda var minus 100 and for the mm1 system lambda bar is equal to what lambda that we have already proved so it, it will become the 30 into lambda minus 100 and lambda is given to you as a 4 so 30 into 4 minus 100 that is the 20 rupees clear yeah thank you sir any other doubt 